Northwest Frontier Province, the Punjab, Baluchistan, and at a press conference this evening in Islamabad, the top relief officials warned that monsoon rains would also hit Sindh province in the south in a few days' time. A province where the provincial capital, Karachi, they're dealing, reeling from another outburst of ethnic-based violence. A political murder last night led to the killing of dozens of people. Karachi is tense. So the situation continues to deteriorate with the floods across the country. How will Pakistan cope? Well, we're joined here by Neva Khan, who's the country director for the international charity Oxfam. Neva, you have seen a lot of disasters in your time. How would you describe the scale of this one? I think really there's no words to describe it. Uh, the scales are on mammoth proportion. At the moment, this is the worst, as you quite rightly said in your summary, the worst flooding that's hit the country. And it's a very, very challenging time and a very defining time for Pakistan due to the many, many challenges it's currently facing. And Oxfam, of course, has been working for many years here. What are the frustrations for you as you try to reach the worst affected areas? Um, there, are, there are a number of frustrations, really the scale of it. Um, we have to remember that uh, it's affecting everybody who's uh, uh, throughout the country who's been living in those areas, in that um, the, 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 our, our partners who are working in the areas, their homes have been affected, their families have been affected, uh, the, the, the government officials, their homes have been affected, uh, etc. So the human resource, uh, resources that would normally be available in an emergency are really, really strained at the moment. Uh, and as a result, we're beginning to scale up our efforts here in Pakistan to compensate that, uh, with that uh, and together with our partners we're very fortunate that we have partners throughout the country and so we're mobilizing all of our emergency stocks uh, to really start uh, delivering because at the moment people need clean water which is our key emphasis at the moment um, uh, and sanitation and hygiene kits um, so that people are actually getting those very basics. Um, other key things that are urgently urgent required uh, food supply especially ready to eat food, shelter, access to health care and with the, the, the with the, the scale of destruction to the infrastructure is just compounding on the challenges that are facing the humanitarian community and the government of Pakistan. It's a logistical nightmare. You're dependent on the Pakistan military, other organizations which have the heavy lifting equipment that can actually get to those areas. Uh, I mean, basically, the way Oxfam is working is it's allowing the government, uh, rightfully so, to do all the search and rescue um, activities. And we're primarily focusing our, uh, our efforts on the humanitarian assistance. And so it's about getting those very basics to the people who need it uh, and that we can, we, we can get to. And for those that we can't, is encouraging others uh, who have that capacity, like the government of Pakistan, to do so as a matter of urgency. Neva Khan, Country Director for Oxfam, thank you very much uh, for joining us here in Islamabad. So, the questions are being asked at this hour in Pakistan. Could the government have done more? Will the international community respond generously? And among the aid community, a terrible question is being asked. Is this as bad as the devastating Kashmir earthquake of 2005, with about 80,000 people lost their lives? A relief official was asked that tonight, and he said, there's no way yet we can calculate the losses. He didn't expect that the deaths would be as great, but all he could say was the losses are enormous. We'll